I am Titsy, and I'm so glad to be back with you guys all here today. Today, we say, every day I make choices that honor Jesus. Wow! But first, before we talk about that, we're gonna sing two cool new songs. And so, let's get up, move our arms and our legs, and let's go and sing!
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. When I read the Bible, it shows me how to love. And when I read the Bible, it makes me think of how, yes, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so, the Bible tells me so. Great job everyone, thank you so much for dancing and singing with me. But now, it's time for a Bible story. Today's Bible story is about the early church, but first, Let's get comfy, put our listening ears on, and let's go and watch this Bible story. The church is the building we go to when we want to learn about God. Nope, this is a church. Those are people. Yep, in fact, it's you and me. You kind of lost me. The church isn't a building. The church is the people who have made Jesus the leader of their lives. And that's us. We don't go to church. We are the church and we exist for the world. Oh, okay. I still don't get it. Let's look in the book of Acts. That's where the Bible talks about the very first church, the people who first believed in Jesus. They didn't have buildings to meet in, so they met where they could, usually in people's homes. So their church was a house? Nope, the church met in houses. Even then, the church was the people. And the apostles taught them many things about God, they did great and wonderful things with God's power. God did amazing things through everyone in the church. Through all the people? How? The people of early church put others first. They prayed together. They shared meals. They shared their time. They shared everything. Everything? Really? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. The Bible tells us that when one of them needed something, others shared what they had. They even sold things and used the money to help out. That's amazing. That's putting others first. The early church was really good at it. For instance, this one guy, Joseph, sold a field and brought the money to the people of the church to help those who needed it. Awesome, what made them do that? They all agreed. They all wanted to live like Jesus, and the apostles told them how Jesus put others first when he died on the cross and went up to heaven. The early church learned about Jesus and lived like him, so they put others first. I think I get it. Great. But you haven't heard the best part. When others saw how those first church people lived, it made them want to follow Jesus too. In fact, more people decided to follow Jesus every single day. Wow, God did do amazing things through the first church people. And God still does amazing things through his people when they live like Jesus and put others first. Right, because we are the church. And we exist for the world. The early church was devoted to following Jesus and loving everyone around them. When people saw how they lived, they also wanted to follow Jesus. Jesus has just gone up to heaven when this new thing called the church started. You know, this new church was not a building. It was a group of people. In the Bible, it says in Acts 2 verse 42, that they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship and sharing of meals and praying. they tell us very important things that this new family of believers were devoted to. These are four things that we should still do today. Let's talk about them. They were devoted to learning about God from their teachers. You know what's so cool? We still do that today. We learn from our teachers how to be more and more like Jesus. They spent time with other followers of Jesus. Of course we want to show God's love to everyone around us. 
You know, the Bible also teaches us to have friends that are also followers of Jesus. They can, we can help each other live strong for Jesus. So we have to choose our friends wisely so that we can move each other and help each other in the right direction. They shared meals and basically everything else. The followers of Jesus were fully committed to each other. They didn't just share their meals together. They shared everything else they had. You know, you didn't hear, no, that's mine, get your own. No, they lived so unselfishly. When someone saw someone else that needed something and they didn't have it, they sold something that they had to get money to help that person in need. They were devoted to prayer. The Bible shows us how our prayers are extremely powerful. The followers of Jesus were committed to prayer because they knew the difference that it made. You know, when we pray, we can pray for the sick and for the people in need. The people in the Bible, they prayed all the time. So we should do that too. Sometimes, we can get distracted by activities or school or our games or TikTok or Netflix. We can get distracted. But we should also know that we can go back to our Heavenly Father at any time. Prayer is so powerful. And we can pray any time of the day or and, and at any place. We can pray in the morning. We can play, pray in the afternoon. We can pray at night. We can pray at our homes. We can pray at church. We can pray at school. We can pray anywhere. It is always a good time to talk to God. You know, our prayers make a difference. When we pray, we can pray to praise Him. We can pray to ask Him something. We can pray to thank Him. And we can just pray to talk to Him in general. Let's look at ways we can honor Jesus through our choices, just like we learned in the Bible. The early church were devoted to learning about Jesus, praying, spending time together, and sharing everything they had. I think they're setting a pretty good example of how we should live as a church. But that's all that I have for you guys today. And remember, every day, I should make choices that honor Jesus. See you guys next week. Bye.